Hello and welcome to our English News Edition. These are the headlines. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, chairs the award ceremony for professional journalists and honors the lawyers. And important facilitations to the benefit of the national press are granted by the head of state as an indirect support to this key sector. After the end of the humanitarian truce, the Zionist attacks are back, are targeting against Gaza, causing more victims among the defenseless civilians. And the Yokoko conference winds up with important recommendations stressing the right of the Sahrawi people to self-determination and highlighting the constant support of Algeria to this just cause. Twice, first of all, in our news, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, chaired the award ceremony of professional journalists meant to honor the laureates who took part in this contest. The ceremony was marked by the presence of high caliber figures and took place in a festive atmosphere. Manuel Bahri has more to say in this comprehensive report. <laughs> The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, chaired on Sunday at Abdel Latif Rahel International Conference Center the award ceremony of the professional journalist. The topic selected for this ninth edition are the new Algeria and the problems of food and water security, strengthening the capacities and creativity of youth and energy security. The ceremony took place as part of the festivities marking the National Press Day on October 22nd each year. As a reminder, the head of state decided to postpone the celebrations this year due to the Zionist attacks on the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank. The ceremony was held in the presence of the President of the Council of Nations, Salah Gujil, the President of the National People's Assembly, Ibrahim Bougali, the Prime Minister, Nadil Arbawi, and the President of the Constitutional Court, Omar Bilhaj, Army General, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, Saeed Shangriha, the Acting Principal Private Secretary of the Presidency, Boulam Boulam, in addition to advisors to the President of the Republic, the Minister of Communication, Mohamed Lagab, members of government, directors of press and journalists. To be had here Munasaba, Etihad Jumanami Tadabir, Lifa Edit Elam Rotani, Kashakli Min Ashkali Dami, Rail Mubashir. During a speech by the President of the Republic, read out by the Minister of Communication, Mohamed Lagab, a series of measures were announced for the benefit of the national press, a form of indirect support, including the reduction of the news agency or APS subscription fees to the benefit of the national media outlets, the reduction of the added value tax, in addition to cost of hosting websites at Algerie Telecom between 33 and 36 percent, while increasing its capacity. Other facilitations, as the rent of press house, which was reduced, the press centers and stadiums are to be named after sports journalists. Sports reporters covering the African competitions were granted a considerable Air Algérie flight tickets offers. The Minister of Communication and the Communication Directorate at the Presidency of the Republic were entrusted to prepare a study to relaunch the Press Assistance Fund, whose mission will be the support and the training of media professionals, highlighting that this letter will be responsible for finding a final solution for the security housing in City Fridge. In his speech, the President of the Republic reiterated his electoral commitments for the benefit of press, in particular the support and development through the revision of the legal framework running the profession. The President of the Republic recalled that their Media City project, meant to modernize the sector, will promote the profession and will give more credibility and more prerogatives. The Algerian television dominated the awards winning the first and the second prizes in the audiovisual category thanks to Sofiane Maknin and Ammar Hales, respectively, for their documentaries, Together We Innovate and The Seeds of Future, 
However, the third prize was also won by Nadira Arau, as for Nora Hamoudi, working for IPTV, who distinguished by the special jury prize for production on Palestine. Je suis très fier et très content d'avoir décroché ce premier prix décerné par Monsieur le Président de la République. C'est un honneur pour l'entreprise nationale. I'm very happy and proud to smash the first prize given by the President of the Republic. I'm very happy to be crowned by the President of the Republic. It's a big honor for me. بدوره السيد بالقاسم حسن جاب الله ممثلا عن قطاع الإعلام يتولى تقديم هدية إلى السيد رئيس الجمهورية. The head of state was honored by the president of the jury for his unwavering support meant to upgrade the sector. At the end of the ceremony, the president held cozy discussions with journalists and the attendees. Other laureates representing several media outlets were also honored during this event as a token of gratitude for their strenuous efforts and major contribution. In the same context, the law on print and digital media and the law on audiovisual activity was published in the last issue of the official Gazette. The two laws embody the principles of the freedom of press in line with the provisions of the Constitution and the commitments of the President of the Republic to build a strong, organized media and to help promote the professional practices in the country. Moving on to the Algerian South African cooperation now, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs and National Community Abad Ahmed Attaf received today the Secretary General of the African National Congress of the Republic of South Africa, Vikil Mbabola. During the meeting, the prospects of the current bilateral ties and relations were reviewed. In Gaza now, where journalists are also savagely targeted by the Zionist attacks for exercising their job of providing the truth. Since October 7th, no less than 73 journalists were killed. Others are today threatened, while the strip is constantly hit as the truth came to an end. More updates now as 400 targets were hit over the last 24 hours, most of them in the south of the enclave. The Zionist entity is no longer hiding its aim of pushing Palestinians to leave the territory as one million of them were displaced to the south. Manan Ma'afa explains. The second phase of the Zionist offensive on the Gaza Strip has already started. The occupation forces are deployed across the eastern borders, with bombings targeting the residential buildings and agricultural lands. This has already caused the death and injury of hundreds of people and several people in a critical situation, stuck under the rubble, waiting for help. <laughs> I lost my home. I was laying on my bed when suddenly the roof fell over my head. More than 70% of the victims are women and children. Confronted with limited resources, the courageous people of Gaza are trying their best to save their brothers and sisters from under the rubble, a heartbreaking scene that is repeated after each bombing. Every targeted house means that the surrounding ones should be destroyed as well, without forgetting the displaced people who are not spared. These bombings are part of an intensive series of attacks carried out by the Zionist entity in the north, center and south of Gaza, pushing the people to go further south towards Rafah. It is the second phase of a forced displacement plan marked by missile attacks and a siege that affects all aspects of life. <laughs> The Zionist occupation forces aims to replace the internal displacement by a migration. They are pushing everyone to go to Rafah, which means that there are some political objectives behind all of this. The Palestinian people, who have nothing more valuable than their attachment to their land, are enduring daily the worst exactions imaginable in quest of leaving their land, opposing every international legality. 
The, Palesti the Palestinian people are enduring the Zionist barbarity in the West Bank as well. Since October 7th, the West number has reached 3,480. The Zionist occupier is stepping up the pace of colonization as 100 million euros have been allocated to build more illegal settlements in order to encourage migration and still Palestinian people's lands. Menemafa once again. At a time when the people of Gaza are suffering the worst atrocities, Zionist settlers are stealing lands and homes of Palestinians, exacerbating the already critical humanitarian crisis in the region. They take advantage of the chaos caused by the aggressions to reinforce their presence on the Palestinian lands, accentuating the forced displacement of Palestinians and the destruction of their homes. In this context, Joseph Borrell, the European Union's high representative, reacted strongly to the allocations of new funds by the Zionist entity for the illegal settlements, describing this action as shocking on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. He also stressed the seriousness of this violation of international humanitarian law, dismissing any link with the so-called self-defense. According to the local media, the Zionist entity plans to increase the budget of the Ministry of Settlements by more than 375 million shekels, including funds to encourage Zionist migration to new settlements. Palestinian authorities reported that more than 600,000 Zionists have illegally settled in the east of Al Quds and occupied West Bank, violating the international law and the humanitarian consequences are devastating, with the Palestinian families forced to leave their homes and lands. Meanwhile, the international community's silence is worrying, yet the voices eager for justice are rising, calling for an end to these horrific crimes against humanity. In other news, 40 students' project holders were honored by Huawei Telecommunications Company. This was amid the ninth edition of the Young Talents Development Program entitled Seats for the Future. More insights with Walid Yusfi and Yassim Hamdi. Four projects have been nominated to represent Algeria at the ninth edition of Seats of the Future. They were achieved by 40 students aiming to find a digital solution to some problems. We created a smart band that works with sensory devices that can detect if children feel bad by using artificial intelligence and send directly the alerts to the parents. Thanks to this unique experience, we honored our country. It was a great honor to represent Algeria in China during the ICT competition. These achievements were possible thanks to the training program set by China for the Algerian students. What an amazing award evening. It's the perfect opportunity to discover Algerian talents. It's the occasion to encourage the students through a partnership with the Huawei company, with the presence of the ambassador. They give a particular importance to train Algerian students. I signed the agreement with the general director of Huawei to take care of the students across the whole country. This convention aims also to support the students and the trainers thanks to an advanced technology that can give them access to the best pedagogic programs. The impact of artificial intelligence on the social and economic life was the main topic of an international seminar held by the Algerian Academy of Science and Technology. National and international experts tackled today the role of artificial intelligence in the scientific research alongside ways and means of reinforcing other sectors using this high tech. The famous sports reporter Jamal Bukhari Shah, who worked for the third national radio channel, passed away at the age of 67 years old after a long illness. Our colleague devoted his entire career to his channel as a reporter and a host of several sports programs and shows. He is known for his long experience and generosity. Jamal Bukhari Shah will be buried tomorrow at the Medi Cemetery after the prayer of Adar. To Allah we belong and to him we shall return.
Amdani qui va changer carrément là-bas sur un de ses coéquipiers. Alors on va faire circuler cette balle très lentement. Bloumi avec ses feintes. La talonnade n'a pas été très bien. Hamdani qui tente la frappe. Oh The proceedings of the 47th Conference of the European Coordination for Support and Solidarity with the Sahrawi people wound up in Toledo, Spain, holding a referendum in Western Sahara and ensuring the respect of human rights in the occupied territory are among the main recommendations included in the final declaration. Details with Ines Kilo. The final declaration of the 47th Conference of the European Coordination for Support and Solidarity with the Sahrawi people reiterated support for the Sahrawi people's struggle for self-determination and independence. The final declaration also called the United Nations to hold a referendum in Western Sahara to guarantee respect for human rights in the occupied Sahrawi territories and immediately release prisoners in Morocco while allowing observers and international organizations to have access to the territory. يعني من مخرجات هذه الندوة هو البيان الختامي اللي يعني تأكد فيه. The final declaration of this conference, in which more than 200 participants took part, stresses the importance of developing a communication strategy to break the information and media blockade being imposed on Western Sahara and reiterates the right of the Sahrawi people to self-determination. شرعية دولية من خلال تمكين الشعب الصحراوي من حقه في تقرير المصير والاستقلال. In addition, the 47th conference of the UCO. welcomes Algeria's support and its unwavering position for the struggle of the Sahrawi people while appreciating its remarkable participation and its contribution to the success of the proceedings of this conference. We must stress the important role played by Algeria and its people in supporting the Sahrawi cause. The final declaration also calls on the United Nations and the Security Council to shoulder their responsibility for holding the referendum of self-determination for the independence of Western Sahara and thereby putting an end to the Moroccan occupation. Sports now. USM Algiers defeated the South African side of Super Sport United with two goals to nil as part of the second game of the CAF group stage. USM Algiers stops now Group A with six points. Congratulations and good luck in the upcoming games. All right, that was it for today's news. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.